Hi pandas, it's Miss Prantle. Um, if you're anything like me, you've been hearing a lot about vaccines and you might have wanted to know more about them. So I found this book in our library about the invention of a, di a vaccine for a different disease. It's called the Polio Pioneer, Dr. Jonas Salk, and the Polio Vaccine. And it's written by Linda Elovitz Marshall and illustrated by Lisa Enchen. And this is a true story. People at the Victory Parade in New York City cheered, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, the war's over. It was 1918. The First World War had ended, but four-year-old Jonas Salk didn't cheer. Jonas saw the injured and wounded soldiers. He saw soldiers unable to walk. Jonas Salk was a kid who saw things differently. While friends played games, Jonas read and read. But when they needed a referee, they asked Jonas for help. He knew all the rules and applied them fairly. Jonas's family was Jewish. They felt fled Russia and Lithuania to escape religious persecution. They came to America seeking, seeking safer, better lives. His mother, Dora, had little formal education. After coming to America, she learned to speak English. But when Jonas was a child, she could read, she could read and write only in Yiddish. See, there he is helping her learn how to read. Uh, his father, Daniel, was an excellent lace maker, but he was often out of work and there was never, never enough money. Yet, Dora and Daniel taught their children the importance of education, of kindness, and of doing good works. Jonas prayed that he might somehow, someday help make the world a better place. Jonas attended the City College of New York, where tuition was free and where, unlike many other colleges and universities, Jews were welcome. There, he discovered chemistry. Jonas hoped that by understanding science, he could make medicines that would help people. He decided to go to medical school and become a doctor and researcher. After medical school, Jonas Salk worked with his teacher and friend, Dr. Thomas Francis. They were seeking medicine to protect people from influenza, or the flu virus, which in 1918 killed millions of people around the world. Substances known as vaccines had already been made to help protect people against other diseases. Dr. Salk and Dr. Francis had an idea. What if a person was given some flu virus that was killed by some chemicals so it could not cause disease? Then, could, could that person's body practice fighting the flu? Could that person's body learn to fight the flu virus and win? Dr. Salk and Dr. Francis thought it could. They studied different types of influenza viruses. Then, using inactivated flu viruses, they made a vaccine to give people's bodies a safe practice run. Dr. Salk and, or Dr. Francis and Dr. Salk's flu vaccine worked. Their flu shot helped prevent people from getting the flu. It helped give people immunity to the flu. Since then, flu shots have saved thousands of lives each year. But another disease was also raging, polio. Throughout America, polio paralyzed or killed thousands of people every year, including many babies and small children. No one could be sure 
they were safe from the disease. Not even future pre U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's him there. Fearing that polio could spread through water, communities closed pool swimming pools and beaches. Parents kept children away from movie theaters, sleepovers, and crowds. Everywhere people wondered, could polio be prevented? Could it be cured? Dr. Salk believed polio could be prevented. He believed he could develop a polio vaccine. Dr. Salk researched, experimented, and tested ideas. He and his team of scientists labored day and night, night and day. Dr. Salk and his team studied different types of polio viruses. Just as with the flu vaccine, they killed the polio viruses with chemicals so the virus couldn't cause disease. Then they used the inactive polio viruses to make a vaccine. Dr. Salk and his team first tested their vaccine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where they lived. Dr. Salk, Dr. Salk gave him many of the shots himself. The vaccine appeared safe and seemed to strengthen the body's defense against polio. But would it actually prevent polio? A larger test with many more participants was needed. Dr. Francis joined in to oversee the larger test. Throughout America, almost 2 million children, polio pioneers, participated. And on April 12, 1955, Dr. Francis announced to the world, the vaccine works, polio could be conquered. Church bells rang, factory whistles blew, the country celebrated. Within a few years of case, cases of polio plummeted. Soon throughout America and much of the world, polio was almost completely gone. See the newspaper says, Salk's vaccine works. more research and work on other diseases was needed. Dr. Salk wanted to make sure all people around the world received vaccinations and stayed healthy. So Dr. Salk kept working, thinking, and dreaming. On a bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Dr. Salk established the Salk Institute for Biological Studies. There, researchers question and discover cures, uh, seeking cures for cancer, HIV, AIDS, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and many other diseases. Jonas Salk was a kid who saw things differently, a kid who wanted to help make the world a better place. Ever meet a kid like that? Could that kid be you? The end. Then we have the author's note that has a little bit more information about Dr. Salk and some children's thank you notes for him. I hope you guys like the story and that that answered some questions for you about vaccines. I know I learned more than I knew before. Bye pandas, have a nice day.